Hello, dear friends. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mukesh English. This is Mukesh Soni. In this video, I'm going to talk about the third semester BCom BBA Generic English, March, April 2023, 2023 examination question paper by Bangalore University. Now let's talk about the question paper. The section one, answer any five questions in one of the two sentences. This is from the play, The Fire in the Rain. The first question, what is the actor manager's plea to the priest, to the chief priest? The actor manager asks for permission to enact a play. He says it would further satisfy the Lord Indra and bring rains to the land which has been suffering from drought for about 10 years. Question number two, who appears before Yavakri and what did he grant? Lord Indra appeared before Yavakri and he granted him universal knowledge. Question number three, what are the two questions that Nitalai would like to ask Yavakri? Nitalai would like to ask the two questions here. Number one, can he make it rain? And can you tell when he's going to die? Question number four, whom does Rebhya invoke to send Brahma Rakshasa? Very uh, difficult question which many of the students felt. Rebhya, through his meditation, invokes a Kritya and sends Brahma Rakshasa to kill Yavakri. Why is Rabia angry when Parvasu comes home at night? Because there was still a month left before the sacrifice ends. Hence, Parvasu had broken the rules. So, Rabia is angry on the arrival of Parvasu home at night. Question number six. Who kills Nitalai and how? Nitalai's brother knocks Arvasu down and pins him on the ground. Her husband pulls out a knife and grabs Nitalai by her hair and slashes her throat in one swift motion. He then lets her drop. This is how Nitalai is killed by her brother and her husband. The question number seven, which is the final boon that Arvasu asks from Lord Indra? Arvasu finally asked for the liberation of Brahma Rakshasa, which would have been Nitalai's wish too. Indra grants his wish and this act of humanity, humanity brings rain to the kingdom and with this the play ends. Now the section 2 where you need to answer two questions each for 5 marks. You have a choice here out of 3 questions you need to answer. The two question is for five marks and the answer should be in about a page. Question number one. Discuss the conversation between Arvasu, Nitalai and Andhaka. The play within the play begins with the scene of Arvasu talking to his lady love, Nitalai, a tribal girl. Arvasu is a Brahmin by birth but he is fond of acting. Dancing and acting are considered as low caste activities and Brahmins are forbidden from doing them. Their conversation about Arvasu being ready to give up his high birth for the sake of his art and love. According to the tribal custom of Nitalai's village, Arvasu had to proclaim in front of her village heads that he is a man enough to satisfy a girl. They had arranged for a council and Arvasu was supposed to meet the village heads before the sunset that evening. During the conversation, the duo encounter Andhaka, the blind Shudra sage who guards the hermitage of Bharadwaj. Through him, they come to know that Yavakri, the son of Bharadwaj, is back in town after attaining universal knowledge through a rigorous penance of 10 years, tapasya of 10 years. Nitalai, being a witty girl, asked many questions about Yavakri, like whether he knows the time of his death, can he bring rains and so on. By the noontime, Arvasu remembers that Yavakri had asked him meet him when the sun is above the head. So this was a conversation among and between Nitalai, Arvasu and Andhaka. Question number two. Describe the instance which leads to the death of Yavakri. Yavakri, a sage who had attained universal knowledge from Indra, has a burning desire to revenge on his uncle Rabhya's family. 
Yavakri's father, Bhardwaj, and Rebhya were brothers. They were equally learned, but Rebhya was getting more recognition among the two. This was a cause for the anger getting hoarded inside Yavakri. Andaka, the blind Shudra sage who guards the hermitage of Bhardwaj, through him, Arvasu and Nitalai come to know that Yavakri, the son of Bhardwaj, is back in town after attaining universal knowledge through a rigorous penance of 10 years. Andhaka used to boost, boost about the spiritual knowledge that was gained by Yavakri from the forest, directly from the gods, about the knowledge of the Vedas directly. On hearing that, Yavakri had used Vishaka's true love as an instrument to his revenge, Vishaka pours out the consecrated water and the Rakshasa is almost near. Yavakri now runs towards the hermitage, but the blind Andhaka does not recognize his, foot, his foot, footsteps. While he catches him on the gate, the Rakshasa kills Yavakri. If Andhaka would have recognized Yavakri's presence, Yavakri would have been saved from the Rakshasa. Question number three. How does the actor-manager convince Arvasu to act in the play? On hearing that, Rebya was jealous of his own son for grabbing the post of the chief, chief priest and also he had been physically and sexually harassing Vishaka over the years. Arvasu shoots his arrow and kills his own father. He instructs Arvasu to do the last rites for their father and then come to the palace where the puja was almost in the final stage, the fire sacrifice. When Arvasu goes on to the goes to the Yagna, Parvasu cunningly puts the blame of their father's murder on Arvasu. The villagers hit Arvasu badly and he faints. On gaining consciousness, he learns that the actor manager and the troop saved his life. And Nitilai had left her husband and come to take care of Arvasu. The actor manager plans to leave the troop which has no work in the town, when Arvasu told him that he could also act, the actor manager tells him, as the fire sacrifice will be completed, sorry, there's a spelling error, as the fire sacrifice will be completed in the next few days, he would have long enough time to practice dialogues, but Arvasu desires to leave that day only. The actor manager convinces Arvasu, saying that if the performance takes place, he will be rich. His children will sleep on a full stomach for another two months. The actor manager and Arvasu decide to reveal the truth to everyone by staging these incidents as a drama. They chose the story of Lord Indra betraying his brothers Vishwarupa and Vritha. Finally, Arvasu accepts and he takes the character of Vritra. Now, 10 marks question. Here, out of the two questions, you need to opt to one. Question number one, which you need to answer in two or the three pages. Wisdom is the right use of knowledge and how does this statement contradict Rebhya and Yavakri's use of knowledge? Means to say, you need to answer here. Uh, both were very much uh, proficient in the usage of their knowledge, the power, but how they used it, in what manner have they used it? So the answer is here. Yavakri is one of the main characters in the play Fire in the Rain. He goes to the forest and observes penance and austerities for 10 years. He does, he does tapasya for 10 years. He rigorously play, prays God for 10 years, but no God yielded to his prayers at last. Lord Indra is pleased with his rigorous penance and grants him universal knowledge. Yavakri is superior to his learned father and uncle Raipya. Andhaka says, but they got the knowledge from human gurus. By diligent study, Yavakri had gone beyond them. He received knowledge from gods direct, not from human gurus. Now, Yavakri has been immensely famous. Countless visitors, learned men, ascetics, pundits, 
come to meet him daily to know the secrets, secret mystery of his knowledge, but he does not boast of his achievements. As Andhaka says, a man of his stature wouldn't talk about himself. Yavakri, though endowed with universal knowledge, is a negative character. He is portrayed as lustful, hateful, revengeful, and ambitious. He discredits penance and misuses knowledge or destructive for destructive purposes. Indra advises him not to misuse knowledge. Indra says to Yavakri, "You are ready now to receive knowledge, but knowledge involves." control of passions serenity and objectivity arvasu sorry yavakri refuses to receive knowledge which leads to the cultivation of virtues and goodness so yavakri bluntly tells indra no that's not the knowledge that suicide this obsession this hatred this venom all this is me i'll not deny anything of myself i want knowledge so i can be vicious destructive indeed knowledge makes yavakri revengeful and destructive undoubtedly rabbiya is an eminent scholar par excellence but his conduct appears contrary to his knowledge even towards one of the most intimate relation of daughter in law with whom he is depicted behaving like a beast using all the filthy ruffian and boorish language which is depicted stopping very low to assault physically from the power gained from tapasya rabbiya creates a brahma rakshas and orders him to kill yavakri thus yavakri meets a miserable death despite possessing universal knowledge so an ironical space has been created here yavakri is said to have got knowledge but it was no true knowledge because he never gained it at the feet of his guru who alone could purify his character from malicious elements like falsehood pride hatred for others jealousy lack of control of passions desire for revenge as such any amount of superficial knowledge cannot become a sustainable force for life now the second question what is the significance of fire sacrifice arranged in the play the importance of fire sacrifice the fire sacrifice controls the entire plot of the play in the play fire the play in the, the fire in the rain the play begins and ends with the fire sacrifice even the main incidents of the play are related to the fire sacrifice yavakri becomes jealous as parvasu selected the chief priest of the fire sacrifice this is the reason that yavakri seduces vishaka for taking revenge on parvasu yavakri thinks that his father bhardwaj should be the right man for the post of the chief priest but that goes to parvasu so fire sacrifice has implanted the seed of jealousy in the mind of yavakri yavakri himself says my father deserved to be invited the chief priest of the sacrifice but that too went to parvasu your husband even in the midst of my austerities i wept when i heard the news for this reason yavakri seduces vishaka and this decision has changed the entire plot rabhya is jealous of his son because he is the chief priest of the sacrifice so he kills yavakri to disturb parvasu but this incident changes the life of arvasu arvasu has to meet the elders of netilai's village he gets late as he has to cremate the body of his the body of yavakri indirectly arvasu's life is spoiled by the fire sacrifice arvasu has to lose his love on the other hand nitilai has to marry the man she doesn't love her life is also influenced by the fire sacrifice the fire sacrifice is in the center of the plot 
it influences every incident of the play rabia is jealous of his son parvasu because he selected the chief priest of the sacrifice rabia doesn't want the sacrifice to be successful as he is not the chief priest of the of the sacrifice so he kills yavakri to disturb his son so that he cannot complete the sacrifice but ultimately parvasu kills his father he even puts the blame on arvasu's shoulder for killing their father for which arvasu is almost beaten to death by the king's army the entire bloodshed is the effect of the fire sacrifice thus vishaka who once advises arvasu to live his own life and forget about the sacrifice she says let it go to ruin does it matter there has been enough bloodshed already finally nitilai has to sacrifice herself to teach arvasu the true meaning of life parvasu realizes his guilt and sacrifices himself so rain comes with the realization of true sacrifice so fire sacrifice created the tension of the play and self sacrifice of arvasu resolves everything now you have a questions for 10 marks from the speeches you have five speeches and uh, four three or four questions will be being asked here out of the three four questions you need to attempt two question number 1 what is the central idea of the french benefits of failure as stated in jake rolling speech Jake Rowling begins the speech with a reflection on what went through her mind while writing the speech and how the process affected her. During this time, Jake Rowling asked herself what she wished she had known at a graduation and came up with the two main ideas of the speech: the merits of failure and significance of imagination. J.K. Rowling explains the benefits of failure by using her own personal failure of living in poverty with a daughter and what that failure taught her. During the speech, J.K. Rowling states, it is impossible to live without failing at something unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default this quote means that in life a per, in a life a person needs to be able to make mistakes in order to learn from them and grow by making mistakes an individual can discover aspects about their character that they did not know before failure can teach one lessons such as in a security in a will and more discipline Question number two from the speeches: Why does B. R. Ambedkar stress on the importance of measuring the progress of measuring progress of women, women to measure the progress of society? Answer: The speaker measures the progress of society or community by the degree of progress which women have achieved, and when he observes this gathering, he feels both convinced and happy that we have progressed. the speaker gives a piece of advice to women like the women should learn to be clean keep from keep free from all vices give education to children instill ambition among the children inculcate in the minds that they are destined to be great remove from them all the inferiority complexes don't be in a hurry to marry marriage is a liability speaking on the issue of marriage ambedkar says that marriage should not be imposed upon children unless financially they are able to meet the liabilities arising from marriages those who will bear in mind that to have too many children is a crime speaking on the parental duty he says that parental duty lies in giving each child a better start than its parents had speaking on the women empowerment he says that 
let each girl who marries stand up to her husband claim to be her husband's friend equal and refuse to be his slave dr ambedkar concludes his speech saying that if the above mentioned advice are followed women will bring honor and glory to themselves and also to the depressed classes and the whole society and the whole community this is going to measure the progress of the society question number 3 the last question how does narayan murthy present the differences in indian values and western values spelling error western values the speaker says that there are two pillars of the cultural value system loyalty to family and loyalty to community one should not be in isolation to the other because societies are those which combine both harmoniously by drawing contrast between the two cultures like the indian and the western mr murthy eloquently finds the formal lacking civic sense here he emphasizes the need for improvement in the social demeanor of the indians murthy in the present speech through didactic tone he urges the indians for a change in the social behavior and mental outlook urgency in his tone signifies his willingness and the readiness to propagate his ideas for the betterment for indians in fact this speech was delivered after narayan murthy had visited a few western countries thus the speech is colored and decorated with the thoughts and the views on western ways of living the behavior towards so, so, towards the social cause and the individual perception he not only contrasts but also compares the phenomena in europe with what forms of life he has been observing in india since his childhood the speech exhibits a perfect style of achieving the purpose by comparing the east and the west murthy is able to help his listeners appreciate the worth of both the cultures in his in this lucid in this lucidly delivered text the speech being structured meticulously murthy uses literary and stylistic devices to heighten the appeal of his didactic genres murthy does not directly crit- criticize indian people and the way of living only with his intelligence which he remarks use of references and allusions he tries to instill a proper civic sense among the indians now so so far we have discussed about 40 marks question paper now we are going to have discussion 20 marks question paper from the workbook speaking and writing skills now you need to answer any one question that means to say 5 marks one question presentation skills so you have a question here draft demonstrative presentation on how to install whatsapp on android phones so here you are supposed to draw the presentation or the slides in this manner you need to give the numbers to the each slide slide 1 2 3 4 5 6 or 7 slide 1 should consist the topic and presented by in the slide 2 onwards you can describe the content if you look at the content slide 1 topic how to install whatsapp on android phones presented by xyz slide 2 open the google play or google play store app on your phone possibly you can draw the image that's going to make your answer more impressive then slide 3 tap the search bar at the tab then search bar reads google play again there is an image slide 4 click on install whatsapp messenger slide 5 tap the green install button next to whatsapp messenger so again there is an image in the last slide 6 thank you so this is how you can make the presentation skills answer in the examination so you have one more choice here draft an informative presentation on importance of communication skills slide one topic presentation by slide two you just bring out the index that which what are you going to see in the fo- in the next forthcoming slide so index you can mention then slide three onwards gradually you can describe the content or the topic like meaning of communication process of communication then seven c's of communication then types of communication so what what i mean to say that uh, don't 
draw very dry images and uh, dry content you support your content with some images you draw it so that it looks quite more elegant and you can get the best marks so this is a five marks question from the presentation skills now up next you have here paragraph writing so you need to attempt one paragraph out of the two you have a choice here so an outline is given on your question paper this for five marks in the exam hall nervous and sweating teacher hands a question paper subject is different unable to understand the questions looks at friend busy writing so based on the outline you you can draft the paragraph so i tried like this the exam hall is such a place where memory gets alive as well as gets lost as soon as the bell rings students get nervous and start sweating because it is a signal that the examiner is about to hand over the question paper moreover it's very tough subject which brings more anxiety the first sight at the question paper makes us complete blind as we feel that we don't understand any questions we start observing our friends and feel relaxed to see them writing the answers this motivates us to recall the answers and start writing so i just try to make very short paragraph you can extend it and you can use some more conjunctions and the linkers to make your uh, writing more effective so you will be having one more question descriptive writing i went tracking with friends outskirts of bangalore saw an old man at the tea shop had a conversation he is a farmer unable to sell vegetables due to lack of frequency of buses asked for lift to the city market offer lift to him life changing philosophical conversations with him so like this the the outline is given and based on the outline you can draft uh, you can draft a paragraph without any grammatical errors so this is a paragraph writing question for 5 marks next you have here letter writing so here again you have a choice after the two letters you need to attempt one and each letter is for five marks so in this question paper inquiry letter and complaint letters are given so first question write an inquiry letter to the principal of dakshin institute of commerce and management inquiry about the pg courses offered in the the college so here send us address satvik and the home address and city date then who is the receiver the principal dakshin institute of commerce and management malesh from bangalore then salutation respected sir subject inquiry about pg courses body of the letter with reference to your college advertisement published in one of the leading newspapers i would like to inquire about the pg courses in your institute i have recently completed bcom with marketing specialization i would like to pursue mba in marketing finance dual specialization uh your college offers mba in different streams i would like to know the admission procedure and date of commencement of pg courses kindly do the needful thank you yours truly satvik next question you have here if there's an option so another question complaint letter to the bbmp stating that the potholes in your locality are causing serious accidents so again send us address date receiver's address the commissioner bbmp bangalore uh, dear sir or respected sir subject portals in nandini layout body of the letter i would like to draw your attention to the poor state of the roads in nandini layout this time we had heavy and prolonged rains which turned the roads into a tangle of potholes naturally the divider and side labels have disappeared as well this is a main road uh, that links the various busy roads as so as a result in order to travel safely along this path people drive slowly this is not this not only causes them to, to arrive late at their destination particularly the office or school it also slows down the overall traffic flow this adds to the frustration of the those who need to arrive at the destination on time moreover this is harmful to one's health i had already lodged a complaint with a local representative but he had not responded uh, so for the sake of citizens well being i request that you look into this serious matter and resolve it as soon as possible thank you yours sincerely so dear friends i have made a separate videos on each and every topics each and all the different uh, lessons in your syllabus so the links of each, links of all the 
topics I have mentioned in the description box. If you want to go through in depth, you can go through the you can go through the de description box and you can have you can get some more information about each and every topic. Okay, let's move further to the next question. Um, answer any one of the following questions. So here you have a choice: either you attempt a question for the product manual design or brochure writing. So let's see the product manual. Design a product manual using the given given information. Clothas filter coffee regular ingredients eighty five percent fifteen percent chicory. Had a set of instructions how to prepare a cup of filter coffee using Clothas coffee. So you can draw the image and you can write the title and you can also bring up the feature of Kothas coffee and the description or any kind of disclaimer and you can also uh, write down the instructions that how to prepare the coffee. I have not mentioned the instructions here and you can watch my separate video on this topic that link how to prepare the product manual. I mentioned the link of how to prepare the product manual in the description box. You can go through it. Next question you have here, bifold brochure. So Fit Health Gym is being inaugurated in your locality. You have been asked to design a bifold brochure. For the same, it should also include the following. What? The date of inauguration, details of ceremony, facilities, membership, contact details. So like this, you can make a bifold, like your, like a, uh, you can say, like a two-fold page. So one side you can draw the title or any kind of tagline. On the second side, you can write down all the, the required information like a welcoming note, the date, place, terms and conditions, or any kind of membership you are going to provide and on which date, or what time you are going to have this inauguration, of this particular, pro uh, particular product or, or any kind of occasion. So I have prepared the separate video of brochure writing and the product manual, the description, the link of those videos I have placed in, in the description box. On the other hand, you can also go through all the lessons links in my, descri in my description box. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that the, the, this solved question paper of Ab March, April 2023 and the Bangalore University will definitely help not only the students of Bangalore University, but also Bangalore North University. So wish you good luck for the examination. Dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video. You can reach me at mukeshenglish at the rate of gmail.com. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on the like button for more videos on literature, workbook, pronunciation, grammar, communication skills, presentation skills, interview skills. Stay in tune with Mukesh English. Thank you once again.